Hey Stephen Rogue, how you doing? Now you know what my soul my soul is like in the kitchen. What you mean really good at peeling potatoes? I didn't realise that. That's a bit of a pointless trivia to take away with from today's stream. Thank you both for dropping in. seared salmon again we eat a lot of salmon and fish in this house uh, salmon and chicken in this house so it's normally one of the two just in varying forms um, but this evening uh, I'm going to revisit uh, some potatoes that I did a little while ago so it's uh, it's about keeping things simple so we cube up some potatoes you might have even seen the stream that I did it on the first time actually uh, we cube them up into about centimetre and a half squares, cubes even. Um, just squares would be crisps, obviously. Um, and then we chuck them in the microwave for about 15 minutes until just to soften them up. And then the last bit of cooking goes on in the oven just to crisp up the outside. So, you know, a bit like... A bit like roasties, I suppose, but a little bit well, slightly healthier. Um, and I chuck in some seasoning in there as well, some uh, smoked paprika and onion powder. Let's get that out. That's what I was taking out earlier on. The, the outer skin of the onion was just a little bit leathery, and that'll be fine for tomorrow night's stream. But to, whoop, oh, shit. fine for tomorrow night's stream, but not tonight. I'm not the cooking stream tonight. Um, yeah, to, just chuck in some seasoning, uh, onion powder, garlic powder, smoked paprika, and maybe a crack of black pepper, who knows, who knows. Uh, we're there today, lots of running around, had new tyres fitted at the back, then we thought we'd move whilst the car was up there with you. Uh, it's quite, quite dynamic of the, uh, the ATS van to jump up on a ladder. I mean, I don't know how you got the car on the roof in the first place. Perhaps that's why you needed the tires, I don't know. But, uh, stopping distances and all that. Uh, do you do go up to it? It's very nice. Very nice. I might, because I'm going to be using the oven, I might even toy with the idea of roasting a, uh, a clove or two of garlic in there. Uh, I've got the big frying pan out because I was going to do my usual veg but I'm kind of thinking about it. I don't know. Perhaps, perhaps I might just do oven or veg. What do you think? Some uh, roasted roasted orange pepper. Uh, some... I don't want to roast a whole lot though. It's a bit boring for you if nothing else. There's no point streaming if I'm going to put it all in the oven. Uh, I think I'll do a couple of things. Four-wheel drive, so roof level is easy. Yeah, it's, it's, it's getting the nose up in the first place, though. That's the, that's the tricky bit, I find. Or have you also got, like, a, you like proper low ride it up as well, so you just bounce it a few times and bunny hop it onto into the right angle. Had a good stream last night. I was playing Apex with uh, Undead, and we got some reasonable games out of that. We lost one game. We played ten. I'll let you do the maths. Um, it was a good. It was a good evening. It was a good evening. I think um, maybe not to be repeated. Who knows? Uh, 
it was the stream anniversary last night, three years. So it might just have been the gods trying to be a little gentle on, on poor old Lex. Just for one night and then they're just going to piss on me tonight. Who knows? Who knows? But uh, we shall see. We shall see. No, don't put the thing on the side, put it over there, because just because it doesn't transmit the heat along its length, that bit still cannot. Alright, let's turn it down a bit more. We don't want to burn the onions, we just want to soften. Shuffling my feet around, sorry. Uh, we want a casserole dish for the teeters. the initial cook. That is a bit on the hot side really. So she could stream I wish you could stream earlier so I could join you more. Hey mate if I wish I could stream earlier. I no doubt would have um, a completely different outlook on life if I could not be doing worky things all day. Dealing with lines of code that were written by people that don't care because they knew that their outsourcing contract was over. And the likes of muggins here and has to sort it out. Muggins here is getting close to a breakdown sorting it out. <laughs> if I could go self-employed doing the leather, I would definitely work, you know, consider that one. Fortunately, I'm still trying to work on a store name on Etsy for that, because the one I was going to use, just about every variation of it has been taken, so I've got to completely rethink that. And of course you can't do anything until you set your store name. So it's like major stumbling block. So we've got to rethink that one. Well, not rethink it, I've got to come up with the name. Spaces for satellite comms authentication. Okay, very nice. I don't know what X space is. That's um. Oh, SpaceX. Sorry, my brain inverted the words. Very nice. Even even more impressive. And uh, see, my my brain isn't that good, unfortunately. I was never a clever person. Certainly a damn sight less so now. Now once again, as you probably know, um, if the mic appears to go dead, it's just because I've had to uh, mute it temporarily to deal with something that may or may not be going on here. So bear with me if that happens. I will endeavour to get back to the stream as soon as I can. Actually, even a couple of these pieces are a little bit thin. I mean, that's going to dry up quite a bit. I prefer the, the onion slice to be thicker, or like the layer to be thicker. Oh, just a bit. about a centimetre cubed, centimetre half. Oh, 
That was close. That was close. I nearly gripped the wrong part of the knife there. I'd be more worried if your mitt went dead and you took that knife with you. <laughs> uh, trust me. It would only be to the shed. And I would be on my own, don't worry. There was no one else to get hurt. Just me. Actually, I'll probably go to the loft because the shed's horrible. It's falling apart. I need a new one. Don't want your last moments to be in a shed, do you? Full of cobwebs falling apart. Summer house, maybe. You know, nice and warm. It is very dark. Changing the subject. So how about those lemons? Apples, whatever they are. Oh wait, the potatoes. Can give you a code button busy to <laughs> I'll give you a coat. The time you enjoy wasting is not wasted. As said by Bertram Russell, one of the few quotes I live by. And as a player of computer games, I think it's particularly apt. Judge how much potato I need. I'll do one more, one more, one more chat. Don't don't force my hand past that. No, I haven't thrown this way yet. It's going to go in the compost heap. I'm not going to go out in the garden just yet. I say chat. I mean, it's just you there, Robin. All right. Got two viewers. Good evening. Right. Screw it. That'll do. less chance of it getting broken. Alright, now, uh, I'm going to have to run the microwave, so of course it's going to be a bit noisy, especially on this camera, this microphone. Um, so I will probably mute, unless people ask me direct questions in chat, in which case I'll unmute, answer the question, then re-mute again. Because uh, otherwise I'll get people complaining uh, that their microwave is making a god awful noise. So, let's stir those a little bit more. We'll put a bit of butter in there in a second. And what we'll do is what we're going to do next. We're going to peel some veg. No, not we're going to chop some veg, chop some mushrooms. Um, we're going to prepare some squash I think uh, we'll chuck that in the oven uh, there we go we'll peel will we peel that up no we'll put that in the oven whole I think because I need to put some uh, fish fingers in the uh, in, in the oven for the ground crew that's what they want um, and yeah okay we'll mute up we'll carry on and uh, I'll speak to you in a second if anyone speaks to me first So you know, I'm not bullshitting. Listen, that's the microwave. See, noisy as hell, so.
Peter, how are you doing? Sorry, the microphone's muted just whilst the, mic the, while the uh, microwave is running. And uh, what was that? Chicken and eggs. I wouldn't mind chicken and eggs, actually. Sounds good. Keeps it in the family. Bit of a brainstorm moment, just trying to think what I'm doing, what I want to do, and how I want to do it. Got two minutes twenty on the microwave. That's not the uh, the only blast of the microwave. There's going to be more. How is it, by the way? Is it is it overpowering? Because if it's not overpowering, I'll, I'll mute the mic and then I can sort of carry on chatting and stuff. But, uh, I don't want to drone you out. my dear and you thank you Thank you. 
for the internet. For that. I also need to find a list for black because these are like different sizes from everything else we have. Um, what am I going to do now? What am I doing now? Let's tidy up. Well, let's tidy this up. Hello? Come back. See, that bit wasn't dead and it was trying to escape. this with the onion at the start of the string. Come on. Bloody onion. It's the layers are coming off in like this, what? Bits that big, for Christ's sake. It's like, come on. Right, okay, that's good enough. So we don't want to get it too wispy and sort of dry up and be flying around all over the place. So. If, it's not, if it's not loose, I guess it can just stay on. Yeah, I do. And then we just chop off the top bits. Just like that. And you put it in. In your baking tray. Now one is smaller than the other, so clearly it's going to cook a lot quicker. Uh, we also want some for... What do you want it for? We want it for... Salmon. So we're going to use a piece that big. And I think that's all we need. I'm just going to chuck this in the baking tray. That was it. Obvious than I realised. That was close. Uh, right, so we'll get that on there, that on there. Pepper is sizzling there. And we can put that back in. Heat going through the glove. Need no other gloves. Uh, right, dish. Dish to which we are going to put that. And we'll just sear those up as rounds rather than chop it up small like I normally do. Facebook should know when I do this. I do have a Facebook page. I don't get too much opportunity to do much with it. But I probably should use it more often than I do. And Instagram for that matter. People keep an eye on Instagram. Reddit. You stream on Reddit. You know that. I do. chopping up, that's why we're taking the husk off. Yep. Oh, don't, don't go back to this again. Stupid little bits coming off. God damn it. Fine. We'll have to eat those bits, they'll get fried. Don't say I didn't give you any warning. 
see anything at the moment. I can't, I can't focus far enough away without my glasses, and I can't focus right up in front of my face with my glasses. So, if there's a sudden splash of red, you know I've hit my fingers. stream this evening, cooking this, but Godbeck called it. He was uh, watching one of my cooking streams before now. And he said, when are you going to do another one, Alex? I didn't want to say, well, you missed it, Lance, but uh, <laughs> I thought, yeah, go on in. I'll do one tonight. He won't be in, of course, because he'll be sleeping, because he's on a different time zone, doing his thing. If you get a chance, though, do check him out. He's a good streamer. Really helpful to the people trying to get their affiliates. He runs a streamer network. That's at streamer network over on uh, Twitter. There you go. That's nice and finely chopped. I think I'll take the lid, the lid, the cover, the, the covering, this thing. And we're on a plate. And we're just going to put the, uh, the garlic and stuff on the salmon and just leave it to sit for a bit. Kind of like a whatever it is, the word that's just escaped my mind where you let something soak into something else. Uh, God damn it, I can't wait to call it. Fuck it. That one's interested anyway, are they? Jacksey Dope, we're stealing his fish. Norwegian. Norwegian salmon. Uh, no, 
I'm also going to do some kale. I've got to check. Oh, that's one. Oh, still one. This is what we're doing. So we queued them up, making them nice and soft. In fact, I can't remember how long they're on for, about eight minutes. They're a bit soft, a bit hard still in places. But they will cook in the oven, of course. We could probably get away with putting them straight in, if I'm honest. Rock Retro, Max making me hungry again. I hope you're well, thank you, Rock. Um, yeah, not doing too bad, thank you. Everything is good with yourself in whatever it is you do on a daily basis. Uh, right, what we're doing, we're going to put some herbs in the potato. We're just going to do like, um, we're going to do whilst it's wet like that, and we're also going to dust it as well. So we're going to use a combination of herbs. Spoons, need spoons. The crash. It's like a Looney Tunes cartoon around here. Uh, where's where do I put it? Where do I put it there. Is. So we're going to use. What are we going to use? This is a quarter teaspoon apparently. I'm going to quarter teaspoon, half teaspoon. I always use a smaller one. You can put more in that way. Uh, this garlic granules. We do about an eighth. Teaspoon. I don't know for certain, I'm just making it up as I go along to be honest. The only trouble with onion powder is it tends to clog. It's very sensitive to moisture. A bit of my beard really. Moustache, it's a moustache, doesn't join in the middle. down in the same place twice. For a moment, just for a moment there, I thought I'd been chatting for the last half hour of the mic mood. Thank Christ for that. some more oil in the oven pan, I think. Uh, and then we can get those in the oven. Have me on that. Right. Right, put that on there for a second. The peppers, just a little bit annoyed that they're in a 200 degree oven. Garlic not caring too much at the moment, and uh, the squash there just like what? Squashes are double hard bastards, aren't they? I mean, they're like the tough guy of the vegetable world. Nothing's getting in there. in here and do another mix round because we, we don't really want it to stick, we want them, it, 
potato. Don't want it to stick. Because otherwise that'll be a bugger. So what we're going to do now is we've got the oil in the pan. The pan's pretty hot. We're going to put the pan back in. Just to get that oil, oil, the oil, the oil back up to a sizzle. Um, and then we'll slap the potato in. So I'm going to give it another stir just try and mix a little bit of the oil around it. These are smelling nice, by the way. I just thought I'd uh, share that with you. Oh, get get you just fall off. Get back in there. There's no respect from potatoes nowadays. No respect. Right, let's put the onion uh, in this little thing here. Bonk. There you go. And then we can start. What should we do? Where should, where should we do what? Where should we do what? Um, I think we we'll do the mushrooms in here. And then the courgette in the bigger pan. Oh, oh. This is blackcurrant. I swear to God it's blackcurrant. There's no alcohol in that whatsoever. Right, yeah, anyway. No, it's potato. I don't want potato. I want mushroom. Get that in there. Uh, what are we doing next? Courgette can go... We want more oil. Always with the oil. Okay. We want to make sure these are all nicely coated so that they don't stick because this pan isn't quite as good as the others. Fingers lax, get some motor skill going on. Why would it be any other different from any other time? Everyone else says. Actually, I'll tell you what I'm going to do with this one. I'm going to put some. Uh, I'm not going to put any garlic, garlicky, broccoli. No, uh, not no garlic in there. What I am going to put in there though is I can't remember. Shit. Uh, back pepper. That's what I'm going to put in there. I think that would be just a bit of a nice change, you know? Hopefully you can hear me okay. Let me know if you can't. If you can't hear me, I don't know how you'd hear me to know that you'd need to tell me you can't hear me. Anyway. Just call me Mirage. That's okay. Um, should I turn that ring on? That would help. Uh, right, now we can get the oven pan out. The oven pan? Pan on. Pan on. Sizzle time. Now this is going to stick like a son of a gun, in fairness. Thank you very much, Anita. Appreciate it. Oh, come on, turn over your bag. Starting to get warm. Uh, the other thing I was going to put on there, I want to use up the last of the full salt. So I want to sort of soak in a little bit. I don't want it to just hit the pan and burn. Okay. Oh shit, I've got to do the uh, fish fingers for the ground crew. Bye. This is 
very fine, the awkward bit where there's only three in here. Please don't be three in here, there's two. There are four even, thank you. Nice for that. That would have been awkward, it's like, ah, uh, chat, I'll be right back, I've got to run to the shops, bye. Please enjoy these efforts. people go for it. A lot of people juice it, which is what this was originally intended for, but um, I figured if it's there, it might not get juiced, so I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to take a leaf. I'm not worried about the middle bit, because it's as tough as old boots, but there you go. And I'm going to put this in the microwave about three minutes with a, a reasonable amount of water, more water than you would normally use with a microwave and veg, um, just so it doesn't sort of dry out any further and go even tougher. Uh, but, I mean this, that's the hell. Just fancy some kale for once. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna rinse it over. Actually, what I'm going to do first is I'm going to tear it up so it's easier to rinse. Not massive pieces. It'll turn into a giant pile, but it's only one leaf. And the really thick bits of, of stalk, like that, screw that. in our mind, because that's totally throwing me. Oh my, oh my word. Uh, what was that? Obsidian, thank you very much for the, obsidian, for, for the obsidian. I haven't got any obsidian, but thank you very much for the follow. Uh, this is courgette in here. That's mushrooms in here. That's brown onion, or softened. This is salmon. It's got garlic and some soy sauce on it. Arwen will be very shocked to hear I'm using soy sauce. Lattery, thank you for the follow. Sorry, it took me a couple of attempts to read that. Uh, we've got some stuff in the oven as well. So we're doing um, ovened uh, orange pepper. Ah, we are doing ovened orange pepper, but what that means is I haven't got any not ovened pepper for the boys. So I'll have to chop up some of that. So I'll use my patented uh, pepper chopping technique for that, which is probably discovered by everyone else about 10 years ago, but it works for me. Pepper. Hope you enjoying the music by the way. A bit of bit madcap. Right. Look for the seams. One, two, three. Slice down. Slice down. Done. Then all you gotta do is this is, is the uh, this set. I don't know what it's called. This sodding about, you know, trying to saw around the top. Forget that. Just whoop. Done. seconds. Seconds. It took me. It's taken me 20 years to work that out. I never. 
Let's find those colors. Told Owen I was making you hungry, and yet so. My bad. My bad. Sorry, not sorry. Uh, we're going to check the oven in a second. I'll show you what's cooking in there. We're just browning these uh, courgettes, basically. We've got uh, a bit of oil and black pepper on top. Ouch, that's hot. Ouch, that's still hot. I hope the music is making everyone feel chirpy. Ow, it's still hot. <laughs> so she had to raid. But I am deeply appreciative of the raid. There you go. If you were watching before, you were lurking before, and you're not aware of who Armin is, what the hell have you been doing? Get over there. Drop her a follow. Check her out. She streams every day from about 2 p.m. UK time, which is UTC plus one. I don't know what that is in Arn's local time. Um, but that'll give you a that'll give you a point of reference. Variety streamer. And, uh, what are you doing today? You're doing eco, weren't you? Um, and other games like Warframe, um, Phasmophobia, Grounded. I haven't seen you Grounded for a long time. Are you waiting for an update to come through on that? So there we've got uh, cubed up uh, potatoes chopped uh, about one and a half centimetre cubes with some paprika, garlic and onion powder. Uh, we've got some yellow pepper browning off, we've got some garlic browning off and we've got a uh, squash browning off. And that was in the pause of the music which I thought was incredibly cool because I love musical timings. Thank you, Arwen, for the shout-outs. I do appreciate it. Thank you very much. Ow, it's still hot. So, uh, with everything that's going on down there, and I mean the oven, I mean the oven. Get your mind out the gutter. Or come and join me. Give me an invite. Oh, that's warm. Okay, they're done. Oh yeah, they're done. They're, they're, they're very done. Not too done, but very done. It's looking good, actually. It's so much easier when you're not streaming. It's kind of nice to sit back and be able to do shout-outs. It's very nice to have you there. Uh, we're going to put this to one side. Where can we put it that it's not going to melt anything because it's fast and hot? We've got a pan now, which is good because we need one. So we're going to put the courgette in a casserole dish. And then we're going to make use of the frying pan for the ground crew's fish fingers. Because that's what they want. So, oh, shit. Hey, wait, 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 don't you dare. Right. right, we're going to put that under the grill to keep warm. Chuck that back. Whoop, what was that? That felt soft on the bottom. No, that doesn't feel right. It doesn't feel right at all. What's going on here? It feels cushioned, and the cooker isn't cushioned. No, it's cushioned now, clearly. Um, right, so let's get the. Oh, it's five. They're going to have two and a half each. Look at that. Perfect. That's what I wanted. Look at that. Turn that ring back up, having just turned it down, we need a little bit more oil. Uh, actually, they probably don't want extra virgin. A lot of this I'm using, by the way, extra virgin olive oil. It's not a fancy brand, it's a co-op, which is a UK local. But probably don't need it for fish fingers. Not, well, not theirs. If I 
I liked fish fingers and I was having them, I'd probably use it. But I'd just use normal olive oil. Make sure I haven't missed anything. Shout out to Obsidian and Agneto. If you bear with me, just two seconds, I'm going to step away from the cooker. Uh, if, anyone think, if anything starts burning, if you could turn it over, that would be great. But I just need to open the back door because it's getting really warm in here. That's better. Okay. Not that I can feel it yet, but I know it's going to be cooling down soon. to these Sim Cities tracks. I've said it a lot of times, but if ever there was a track that screamed Sim City 2000, this is it, and the next one actually. Busy tunes. Uh, so the other thing I'm doing is curly leaf kale. Um, that's that's for me because I just fancy some curly leaf kale for curly leaf kale for once. Um, so I'm just going to rinse that over. Excuse the angry tap, it doesn't like being rum. Two seconds. Hope your stream was okay, Arn. Did you achieve what you were trying to achieve? Right, let me just keep those going. Just need to just slow that down, speed everything else up. Right, yes, yeah, so what we're doing is rinsing that. I'm gonna put the kale in here. Huh? Once again, you see, the, the, the pitfalls of not fully killing your vegetables before you attempt to cook them. Uh, the kale just jumps out. It just jumps out. Uh, so what we're going to do is, we're going to put actually what would be considered a reasonable amount of water in here. Because the last thing you want is kale to go even tougher than it is already. There you go, more busy tune. We're going to make sure it's all wet. This a lot? Maybe it is. Oh, okay. Um, we're going to mix that in. We're going to put in with some black pepper. And should we put some onion granules in there, do you think? Yeah, why not? What is worse that can happen? There you go. Uh, we're going to stir that in so we get the herbs and stuff into the water. Which means it will transfer to the kale. Make sure it's all nice and wet. And I'm going to cook this for about two and a half minutes, three minutes, and then see what it's like. If I can find the lid to the casserole dish, damn it. Let's see what these are doing. Hopefully not burning. Let's 
put them on the edge just there. Let's see if we can just even up the cook speed a little bit. I'm going to put them on the edge. Yeah. See the fish fingers, they're worse than the veg for jumping out. Because they'll just they'll just go for it. They'll see the opportunity. And poof, they're gone. Alright. So you have to see that they're also troublemakers because you stand one up and the other ones fall over. Uh, there's just it's very difficult cooking. It's very difficult cooking. What am I using a bloody knife for? I've already had one fight with a wine bottle. The fight was to not drink what was inside it. Right, and just do that for a bit. I hope you're doing okay out there. I really do appreciate you sticking around for the raid. Uh, I know it's not, uh, not necessarily quite as entertaining as Arwen's stream. Arwen is an awesome streamer. But thank you very much for uh, weathering my whatlessness. Quick check in the oven. Very hot in the oven. Very hot in the oven, see? Alright, we can now put this. Put it in there when that gets warm. So I suppose what I want to do then is turn that ring on and then it will get warm. So I just want to even up. I just want to even up the burn. Uh, so if, if one bit isn't burnt, then it stands out, doesn't it? But if it's all burnt, then you can't tell the difference. No, it's not burnt, it's not burnt. I wouldn't give my kids burnt food. If my hands would stop shaking. And I'll probably be able to do it a lot quicker as well. Oh, pish posh. Nice save, Marcus. Uh, so what we're doing, also for the ground crew, so let's carry on doing these. So I'm just going to do that into like finger things. I'll put it into a glass of water and stick that in the fridge. Nice and cold and fresh. So I'll just do that. Bit of finger food. This is a bit out of place, isn't it? I don't quite know how this track got in here. Oh no, it does, it does speed up a bit. Yeah, okay. This is part of my uh, um, New World playlist. It's got that medieval fantasy vibe to it. It's all about playlists. Everything else on my stream might be crap. But the playlist will work, I guarantee it. That's about the only thing I do well. It's also on my sailing playlist as well for Sea of Thieves. Uh oh, the hydration is almost gone. Start 
tidy up. It's getting close to plate. this out of the way, make it look a little bit less cut. You've got to maintain the illusion, you see, of a tidy, functional kitchen rather than the bomb site that it actually is. That's sticking like a son of a gun, that is. All right, we're going to start flipping the salmon, so we're going to sear off the sides of it as well. I'm enduring pain for you, chat. I hope you appreciate that. I hope you appreciate that. Sizzle and the sounds aren't too loud if they are, I'll meet the mic. They possibly are. You can't get under there. Need that one. 
bit harder. There we go. Wait, get the hell back in there. We haven't done enough potato as it is. I'm going to lose some. Turn over. That's looking good. Peppers are looking good. And if you case you missed it, this has got paprika, onion powder and garlic powder on the potatoes. Okay, sorry for your mute moment. Right, so these potatoes are looking pretty much done actually. I'm going to test them. So, oh, that is soft. That's soft. Right. Hmm. Try a bit. Try a bit. No? No? No. Do you like?
starting plate up. Okie dokie. Oh, dear me. Let's do that. Let's do that. And the mushrooms. Fried onion with the, uh, what we class as naughty butter in this house. So you obviously you've got the, um, we don't have actual butter. We're not quite that decadent. Uh, but you know, you've got the margarine, you've got the half fat margarine. Well, this is margarine. This ain't no half fat rubbish. This is naughty butter. Put the green stuff out, and of course I'll be taking a picture of this. Uh, for what do people do that? I don't know. It's getting done either way. Um, taking a picture of it, chuck it out on Instagram. So exclamation mark antisocial in chat, and that will give you the uh, the links to all my my social media accounts, including of course Instagram. It'd be a bit pointless if it didn't include that one. Let's get the, uh, is that warm enough to touch? Ow, no it's not. Oh, that's too warm to touch. Let's get this out of the way. Uh, what's in shot? Does it look a mess? Kind of. There we go, look at that. Uh, a casual hard shove to the left. Fixes the image instantly. because there's two bits left. Uh, so we've got the, the roasted garlic, which is, uh, might have gone a little bit too far actually, we'll have a look at that. I'll probably still eat it anyway. But if we look at that, uh, let's look at the one that's probably better. I totally forgot it was in there actually. So you leave the outside husk on of course, and then you've got this. That's gonna be well nice actually, that is gonna be well nice. I've got to cover that over now so people can't say I've taken a bite out of it. Bugger. How do? Um, right, so what we're doing? Uh, that's it. Well, that's, that's what we're doing is, is done. We are done. No, we're not. We've got to put that one, yep. There we go. Now we're done. Um, that garlic is proper caramelised. And not necessarily sweet, but it's just as sticky. Mm. It's gonna last me all night. So there we are. Let's, uh, let's just wipe that smudge away, because it's all about presentation, isn't it? There you go. I wish the same work with my face. I'd be a lot better off. There's no way you can make a good presentation like that. Uh, right, so we are done. Thank you very much for dropping in. Thank you very much, Arwen, the awesome, fantastic, wonderful Arwen Sharp. For the raid earlier on, 20 odd people, Please, uh, Arwen, I'll, I'll, uh, I'll write out the apology letters uh, later on and I'll, I'll post it on, on Discord. Dear Arwen Sharps viewers, sorry, lax. Um, but 
uh, later on we'll be doing some Apex, I believe, with uh, Undead and maybe Arwen if uh, Mr. Man isn't playing Dota. Steve and stuff. Thank you very much for sticking around the entire time. We really do appreciate it. Um, yes, yeah, so we'll be live from about half nine UK time, which again is UTC plus one currently. Um, we'll be starting with a silent pre-string because it'll be close to when the boys go down. Uh, I'll probably do something, something in the first hour uh, that isn't Apex um, because I can't really do voice comms during that time. Uh, maybe we we'll do a little bit of, uh, of Warframe if you're if you fancy any of that again, Arwen. I don't mind. Uh, if you don't want to, don't worry. And if you do, it'd be great to have you along. Uh, but again, that's uh, 21.30 later on. Um, and all that remains for me to say, uh, I suppose actually thank you also for the people that followed. Uh, if I could find my follow thing. Obsidian COVID even, OCD. Thank you for the follow. Zattery, thank you for the follow. Uh, Arlen Sharp, as you said, uh, in a raid of, raid of 24 people. And Yeto, thank you for the uh, hydrates there. I, I really did need that. Um, and that's the thank yous. see you later on this evening for Apex and other things and shooty with Undead and maybe Arwen as well, who knows. You take care, catch you later.